In this video, let's take a look at angular material buttons. Angular material buttons are basically native button tags or anchor tags enhanced with material design. We had a quick look at material buttons in the getting started video. Now let's take a more detailed look. To make use of material buttons, we need to import the material button module. So in material.module.ts, import the mat button module and add it to the material components array. Now let's go back to app.component.html. To create the simplest of material buttons, we add the mat button attribute. So a button tag with the mat button attribute. Save this and take a look at the browser and you can see a material button. Now let's take a look at some of the variants. The first variant is a raised button. The attribute is mat raised button. The next variant is a flat button. The attribute is mat flat button. And we also have a variant that applies just the outline. The attribute is mat stroke button. Let's save this and take a look at the browser. The buttons are too close to each other, so let's add some margin. In app.component.css, margin right 3 rem now if you go back to the browser you can see the different buttons raised flat and stroked apart from these we also have circular buttons in angular material there are again three variants the first one is an icon button the attribute is mat icon button The second variant is a fab button. The attribute is mat fab. Lastly, a minifab button with the attribute mat minifab. Save the file and let's take a look at them in the browser. So we have icon button, which is a circular button with a transparent background. Fab button, which is a circular button which defaults to accent color of your theme and the mini fab button which is just a smaller version of the fab button. So these are the variants for circular buttons. Next let's talk about button colors. When it comes to material there are three colors we talk about. Primary, accent and worn colors. W-A-R-N worn. To apply the color, we make use of the color attribute on the button element. Let me copy paste three buttons and add the colors. Color is equal to primary. The text is primary. Color is equal to accent. The text is accent. And finally, Color is equal to worn and the text is worn. If you take a look at the browser, you can see the button text in different colors. Primary, accent and worn. How the colors apply are based on the variant of the button. If we were to apply the same colors to raised buttons for example, You can see the difference primary accent and worn so based on the type of the button the color is added to the element the last thing i want to show is how to disable the ripple effect right now you can see that when i click on the button there is a ripple animation effect if you don't like it for some reason you can add the disable ripple attribute to the button element so on this third button, which is for warm, 
I am going to add disable ripple. If I save this and go back to the browser, only on this button, when I click, you can see that there is no more ripple effect. Ripple effect, no ripple effect. Now, those were a lot of attributes to keep in mind. So let me point you to the documentation. Go to material.io and click on components and then scroll to the button component. Click on examples and click on the code icon. Here, you pretty much have all the code required for you to experiment with material buttons. And if you visit the API tab, you can see what is the module that needs to be imported. So Angular Material provides six variants and three colors that can be applied to the native button element. Buttons kind of make up a part of few other material elements, so make sure you have a good knowledge of them. With this understanding, let's take a look at button toggle in the next video.